here i would like to discuss about negative feedback positive feedback and feed forward control system and first what is meant by this negative feedback so i will explain this through an example when there is an increase in our blood pressure our system will try to decrease the blood pressure that means this is a negative feedback so here what is the stimulus the stimulus is the rise in blood pressure and what is the receptor that means how it is sensed so the sensors or the receptors is the barrow receptor barrow receptor now to decrease the blood pressure our brain plays a role especially the medulla part and the effect of that is decrease in blood pressure so the effector is decrease in blood pressure another classical example of this is our major endocrine hormone regulation major endocrine hormone regulation so these two are playing this negative feedback mechanism now i will give you a concept about what is gain so at a resting state the systolic blood pressure is 120 mm of mercury during exercise the sbp level rises that means during exercise it rises up to 180 mm of mercury and when you stop the exercise our body's system will try to bring it down but not completely 150 mm of mercury so here what is the gain the gain is it is a correction that is made divided by error it is a correction divided by error here what is the correction that our body has made that is none other than it was 180 and it dropped to 150 and what is the error the error is it's 550 but our normal blood pressure is 120 so the error is 150 minus 120 and here you can see the gain is equal to 1 but it is negative do you know why what is the significance of this negative sign it is because the increased blood pressure here you can see our bp is increased the body's mechanism the body system is trying to decrease the blood pressure and so it is a negative feedback this negative is indicating it is a negative feedback now what is this positive feedback there is an increase in the stimulus and due to that there is increase in response i will give you an example then you will be get a clear cut concept about it in the example so blood clotting it is a classical example of positive feedback mechanism in the blood clotting there is a coagulation cascade coagulation cascade you can see certain factors are activated that will lead to activation of many other factors so here you can see there is amplification that means it is amplified the next example of positive feedback mechanism is lh surge that means around the time of ovulation the estrogen level in blood will increase and that will lead to an increase in lh this is an example of positive feedback mechanism now the third one 
is action potential in the action potential there is depol during depolarization initially there is influx of sodium in small amount but later more and more sodium will influx influx of more and more sodium will occur and that is an example of this negative positive feedback mechanism the next one is shock so here you can see when we are affected by hypovolemic shock so the blood flow will be reduced due to the reducing blood flow there is decreased perfusion to heart that means more blood is reaching the heart is less and so there is weakening of heart and you can see there that the shock get worst worsened do you know why because due to this weakening of heart the blood is not reaching the entire regions and the shock gets even worse than ever last example is parturition so during parturition that means delivery of fetus there is uterine contraction the uterine contracts and it will lead to the dilation of cervix dilation of cervix due to this cervix dilation you can see more efferent that means sensory firing occurs to, uh, so that the oxytocin will be released into the blood and the release of oxytocin will increase the uterine contraction more this is an example of positive feedback mechanism and you can see this reflex is called ferguson reflex ferguson reflex the last one is the feed forward control system it is also called anticipatory control here there will be no stimulus so what is the there is anticipation that means actually there is no change but there is an anticipation for the change and the body will correct it i will explain this to an example body temperature regulation so our core body temperature is the temperature which is inside internal organs whereas we are having a skin temperature which is outside temperature known as shell temperature so when there is cold the temperature of our skin falls but there is an anticipation that our core body temperature will fall but actually the core temperature has not fallen yet so the body will bring some mechanisms that will reverse this aspect that means shivering and it will increase the temperature of the skin so the shivering is induced by the control of hypothalamus so this is an anticipatory change actually the body temperature has not fallen i mean core temperature the second example is about thinking about exercise so when you think about exercise you will feel that your heart rate will be get increased as well as the respiratory rate get increased this increase of heart rate due to thinking alone is called anticipatory tachycardia tachycardia and the increase in respiratory rate is called anticipatory tachypnea 
This is an also an example of feed forward control system. The third example is when you are driving in a car, you feel that there is someone who is crossing the road. You came across a person who is crossing the road. So you anticipate that you will hit him and you applied brakes. So that is also an anticipation. So this is induced by our cerebellum. Cerebellum is the one that thinks about the future. Okay. So by concluding, I have to say that in our body, there are so many dynamic changes that is occurring. So the body will try to make constancy or in an equilibrium condition through the homeostasis, different homeostasis mechanism. And this is called dynamic equilibrium. This condition of body is called dynamic equilibrium. In the case of positive feedback mechanism, the examples are very important. And there is a mnemonic for you to remember, CLAPS. C for clotting. L for LH surge. A action potential. P parturition. And S shock. So it is must to know the examples of this negative feedback, positive feedback and the forward feedback control mechanisms.